Euzu billahi mineşşeytanirracim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this part of our talk on Nahj al-Balagha, the sermons of our beloved Imam Amir al-Mu'minin Ali ibn Abi Talib, we shall be talking about Sermon 185. In Sermon 185, Imam refers to the ants, the creation of the ants. And he asks whether people who are disbelievers, whose hearts are disbelievers, whose hearts are sick, and whose eyes are impure, don't they see the small things that Allah has created? In other words, to be conscious of Allah's creation, to be aware of Allah's creation, don't we see the small things that Allah created like the ant? And how Allah strengthened their systems and opened for them their hearing and sight. Allah gave them systems of breathing, digestion, of movement, muscular movement, and sight and hearing in such a way that they are able to lead a life of their own however small and tiny they are. Allah has given them hearing and sight. He has made for them bones and skins. And the body of the ant is very small and very delicate. But how does it move onto the earth? And how does it live on the earth in its ant halls or in its uh, ant hills together with other ants? And how does it uh, collect its food, its livelihood? It looks, it goes looking for finding it in search of the livelihood out on the earth, in houses and out of houses, in gardens and other places, in farms and other places. And then it collects, its when it sees its grain, the grain that it wants to collect, it jumps on it, it leaps on it, and it takes, it, it, it actually carries it to its place of stay. It deposits it in the, in the ant hole. So they look, in, they go out in search of food, they collect the food, which is very big, and it is uh, stated that they carry much more weight proportionately that human beings can carry of their own strength. Given the different sizes, proportionately the ants can carry much more and therefore they are stronger in carrying things than we are without the help of any instrumentality, just with their bodies. So then Imam says that it the ant collects during the summer for the winter and its livelihood is guaranteed during its period of weakness. So in the ant hills, the places where the ants live, there will be food stored throughout uh, the winter months. The food will be stored during the time when they cannot get any more food, when there is weakness, they cannot go out to collect food. And you can see how wise, instinctively wise, the ant is in ensuring that it collects when it can, it collects food when it can, stores it, deposits it, and then they are, uses it, you know, together with other community, the whole community of ants. It is not an individual life living creature. It leads life in communities of ants, and therefore it uh, it actually you know guarantees the subsistence of the entire community of ants. And if you think about its digestive tracts in its high and low parts, in other words, the digestive system, the digestive system in its high, in its high meaning nearer the mouth and it's low nearer the intestines 
you can see that its belly, its uh, eyes, its ears, in its head, it's, it's absolutely amazing how it has been created and how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who created the ants is the same creator who created the date palm with the same level of delicacy and detail. So we can see that in this sermon we are being guided to look at creation, Allah's creation and to see how delicate Allah created. This environment is made of living creation and non-animate creation. It is made of uh, air, earth, rivers, waterway, waterways, and uh, together with uh, people living on it, with the fish, the oceans. So environment includes all that. And uh, Nachubalaka is telling us that look, look at your environment. Look at your creation. Look at the fellow creation that Allah created. Look at the ones that were created as the birds high in the skies flying and the vultures and the birds of prey flying with huge wings as well as those hens who actually can't fly very high and stay just uh, fly a little distance over above the ground from they virtually are hopping flying and hopping the hens and the, 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 the crows the you know the cocks the cockerels and the hens they just whereas the crow, crows and the other birds even the pigeons they fly so much so you can see that the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which encompasses the environment, the entirety of the environment, the entirety of the creation, how beautiful Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created it. And this is something that we have to reflect upon. We have to understand that this is important for us to understand the beauty of creation and uh, the creativity of creative power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And when we understand that, we begin to appreciate Tawheed. We begin to understand uh, Allah's uh, wisdom. We, we begin to understand Allah's power, Allah's sovereignty, Allah's greatness in every respect. And that gives us a better understanding of our ubudiyah, how our servitude to Allah should be, how our worship to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala should be. And this 